So this geometry problem is pretty typical of the GED. Let's go ahead and read it. A pyramid has a square base. If each side of the square measures 4.2 inches and the height of the pyramid is 5.1 inches, what is the volume of the pyramid? So right away I see I'm looking for the volume of the pyramid. And the second that I know I'm looking for volume, it makes me want to hit up the GED formula sheet. Okay, so it has formulas like roadmaps for how to find volume on it. So here I have it pulled up. Now you can get this GED formula sheet by just Googling it on the internet, GED formula sheet. This is the exact same one. You can see it has GED testing service up here um, that you'll get as you take your test. And here, um, the, very, the third column or the third uh, category down we see surface area and volume and right there I see that I can get surface area and volume of a pyramid. Now you can see you have two formulas here. My particular problem asked me to find volume so I'm not going to use the SA formula that stands for surface area. I'm going to use this formula. The volume is equal to one third right here where is it? Let's see if I can pull it up. There we go, we got the pyramid, and I see here volume is equal to one-third of big B times H. And a lot of students don't pay attention to the capitalization of a formula, but it actually makes a difference. Big B is something different than little b. So um, this is the formula I'm going to use, so let me go back to my problem now. Very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do myself a favor. I'm going to write out volume is equal to one-third of big B times H and that is the formula that I need. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here as well with a picture. So we're looking at a pyramid with a square base. What they mean uh, by base is that's the what the pyramid is sitting on here. Um, it has a square bottom and then from there from all the sides it's going to come up to a point and that's a pyramid. Um, okay, so this bottom here is a square and then from there all the corners come up to make a pyramid. Okay and so what I know is that each side of the square measures 4.2 inches and I know the height of a pyramid. The height of a pyramid drops from the middle of its base up to its uh, top. It's an imaginary line. You can imagine if I stood at the pyramid and dropped a string down through an opening in the hole of the pyramid it would just fall straight down. That's the idea of a height and this particular height is 5.1 inches. Okay, now let's use what we got with our formula in order to get where we need to go. We need to find the volume, okay? And so in order to find the volume, we're going to need to plug in uh, two letters. We're going to need to plug in this big B and this H. So we need to know what this big B stands for. Um, that's the main thing that students don't realize. Big B stands for area of the base shape. Well, what did we say the base of our uh, our pyramid was? The base of our pyramid happens to be a square. And so it's going to be the area of, in this case, a square. So this, to find this number, is going to take some extra work. I'm going to come over here. My first step has got to be to actually find big B, find the area of that base shape, in this case, the square. It could have been any base shape. They have lots of different kinds of pyramids, but this one has a square base shape. So I'm going to do that. And you might be thinking, how am I supposed to find the area of um, a square? Well, that is also in the formula sheet. If you're on the formula sheet and you looked up area of a square, you would see this formula. A equals S squared, or S to the second power. And this S here stands for side length, the side length of the square. Basically, to find the area of a square, all you do is multiply the side length by itself. You square the side length. And you can feel free to do this in your GED calculator. Your GED calculator will do this for you. It will find uh, 4.2 squared. All you have to do is type in the number 4.2 and then hit the X squared button and then enter. 
And if you were to do that, and by the way, the GED calculator is called a TI-30XS. It's not that expensive. They range from 11 to $17 most times. They're available online. Sometimes you see them at Walmart. Sometimes you see them at Office Max. I really suggest you buy one, okay? But if when I type that into the GED calculator, I got out 17.64. And so what I just figured out was the area of this shape right here, okay? And that, we said, was what Big B stood for. So I'm going to take this answer that I just found, and I'm going to plug it now into my volume formula. I now have one-third. I know my Big B is 17.64, because B stands for area of the base shape. Okay, And then this H, what does this H stand for? Well, this is height of the pyramid, and we know the height of the pyramid is 5.1 inches. And now I'm going to type this entire thing into my GED calculator. I'm not even going to deal with the fraction. And the way I'm going to do it is by remembering that a fraction bar means the same as divide. So I am going to type 1 divided by 3, and those parentheses means times. So times 17.64 times 5.1. And I get... 29.988. My work is almost done here. You're just your final thing. You should be writing in a unit. And it is important to realize that volume is a measurement of filling, how much space it takes to fill um, a three-dimensional shape. And because of that, you're going to use a three-dimensional kind of measurement. You're going to use cubic units. Volume is always measured in cubic units. How you can tell a unit is cubic is if it has that little floating three on it, cubic units. And so it'll be 29.988 cubic inches, and I write that by doing the inches abbreviation with a little floating three. That is cubic inches. Great. Final answer. We're done. I didn't have any rounding directions in my problem, so I'm not going to round, and I'll just call that the final answer.